Have you guys heard of the four-legged woman? And yes, this is very much a real person. This is Myrtle Corbin and she was born with four legs. So Myrtle was born in 1868 on May 12th and she was living in Tennessee with her family. And when she was born, doctors immediately noticed that she was different. She was born with two pelvises, which resulted in her being born with two reproductive systems and four legs. So essentially, she had two lower bodies. And this condition is known as dipigus, which is a very rare form of conjoined twins. So essentially, the way it worked was that each of her normal length legs were paired with one of her much shorter legs. This resulted in Myrtle not really being able to walk properly because the two smaller legs were much weaker. And by the time Myrtle was 13 years old, her father decided to use her to make some money. Essentially, they would travel from town to town across the United States where Myrtle's father would charge people a small fee to see his daughter. And when Myrtle was 19 years old, she actually ended up getting married to a doctor. And surprisingly, the couple ended up having five children together. Three were born from one side of her reproductive system, while two were born from the other. Unfortunately, in May of 1958, Myrtle ended up passing away when she was just 59 years old. And when word spread that she had passed away, there were many people that were willing to pay very high amounts of money to claim her body. Essentially, they wanted to turn her body into some sort of prized possession to charge money for people to come see. Fortunately, her parents ended up rejecting all of the offers. And when Myrtle was buried, her family was said to have taken turns watching over her grave, waiting for the concrete to fully cement. They were not taking any chances with the graveyards taking the body of their daughter. And this very rare condition has only been reported one additional time in English literature. And that was when Francisco Lentini was born with the third leg.